jump into it. Uh, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. In this next topic, we're going to talk about Tesla production and how Tesla might actually produce Model Ys at a higher rate. And so maybe that's why EDDs could get be getting pushed right now or maybe even brought up because Tesla production ramp, it's all about Tesla production ramp and how quickly they can produce that vehicle for you. We've got a prediction here from, of course, our friend Troy Teslike, and we've got some data here where we can actually see that Tesla produces, or from his prediction, two to one uh, Tesla Model Ys to Model 3. So two Model Ys to one Model 3. So we'll take a look at this will give us, you know, some insight to maybe Hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed to get our EDDs, estimated delivery dates pushed up. So we'll definitely take a look at it. And if you are, if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it. But basically, just getting the best thing on your Tesla at the best possible price, or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description. If you want to support the channel and receive some of the benefits, but definitely check it out if you are interested. So let us take a look at it. Thank you to RK for talking about. Tesla ramping up production, that probably is exactly the case. So shout out to Troy Teslike. He posts, uh, you know, his delivery estimates. He, he does this a lot and he's pretty much spot on. So that's why he's a trusted source, at least from my opinion, for Tesla production and delivery. But he just adjusted his Tesla estimate. His quarter one delivery estimates as were as followed. Estimate 412,000 vehicles was 421 just a couple of weeks ago. Analysts are still thinking it's going to be 428,000 in the first quarter, but uh, this is a little scary. And that's for sure. Starting to go down. Uh, if we remember, I want to say the quarter four sales was about 407 or 410 around that for Tesla. And so, but I mean, at the end of the day, doing that same and copy pasting that amount of sales in quarter one, which is always historically a lower, lower uh, sales month across the industry. That, I mean, that's pretty impressive at the end of the day. So taking a look at here, this is where we can get into the nitty gritty of all this. So you can see Fremont as a factory by itself produces 55, 54,450 Model 3s. And right here you can see Fremont as a factory produces 56,800 Model Ys. Of course, we know Giga Austin has been ramping up. It's ramping up its production and producing and spinning out a bunch of Model Ys and Model Ys only. And where they're supposed to be predicted to produce and sell or per ship 62,650. So, of course, if we add 56,000 plus 62, Thousand. That's basically a two to one production rate for for the Tesla Model Y versus the Model Three. So this could help you answer your question. Hopefully, you know maybe your EDD will get pushed up because Tesla is probably working as hard as ever to push out a bunch of these Model Ys out there, and that's probably why we you know we see Model Y the inventory charts spike up every six or seven days because they start to release all these vehicles that are coming from Giga Austin. Uh, for that to say sales pre-production, pre pre-transportation type of vehicles. We're starting to see a little bit of bump right now. And on top of that, we're also starting to see a little bit of discounts. Uh, so right here, there's one that's a 2023 Tesla Model Y long range. Of course, this is only one vehicle across the country, 2,000 miles on it, but a discount of almost $1,800. I, I mean, this, I mean, we, we pop, op, opened this up a while ago and Still here, still available for sale. So this is actually a pretty slick deal if you're in the Massachusetts area, that's for sure. But de definitely let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, are you open and praying for a estimated delivery or a delivery within March? Or did you get pushed out to April, May, or even June? Of course, we did post a poll out there on the channel this morning. And I asked the question, what is your Tesla EDD estimated delivery? And a lot of people, 43% said March which was definitely surprising to me. Uh, I thought there was gonna be way more people in the March, May, June timeframe, but March, April, 10%, May, 11%, 6% June. So if you are someone that has an estimated delivery date pushed out all the way to then, Definitely try the EDD hacks. Definitely try going to a Tesla sales center, talking to a sales rep, see if there's any cancellations out there uh, to see if you can lock down one ASAP. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Uh, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down in the description of the Patreon link, we receive a lot of benefits. And some of them include actually 
scheduling a call with me. You can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla and you get a link to my buying guide, which has links to all the best credit units that are out there uh, with rates better than Tesla financing. Tesla financing is like 5.59%. All the credit units listed have better rates than that. So definitely check it out. Link down below in the 